ಸ್ಕಂದ ಸಮಾರೂಢಂ ಉಮಾಧಾರಿಣ and then um, we also saw that that vrishaskanda samarudam on the shoulders of dharma both are seated vrishaskanda samarudam they are balanced on the dharma known as vrishava dharma that's why we said that even on the purusharthas dharma is at the base dharma artha kama moksha paritranaya sadhuna vinashaya sadaskritam dharma sanstapanartaya sambhavami yuge yuge that's because he is on the vrishaskanda on the shoulders of dharma dharma sanstapanartaya sambhavami yuge yuge and then after this we have this beautiful verses the couple of part of it and what they call it one version mostly the popular version is murtena plutam shantam divya bhoga samanvitam and the other one is murtena plutam hrishtam which is a very rare one but we'll see both murtena plutam shantam divya bhoga samanvitam now we all know this that shiva is what we call abhisheka priya amrutena plutam he is being anointed he is being done abhisheka with amrta the nectar divine nectar what kind of nectar later on when we go to the dhyana slokam we would see that purnendu vanta amrtai the nectar of the moon is what is doing a bishekam to him because the entire cosmos is the form of shivalinga all the moons in the cosmos are pouring their cool rays on because there's not one moon here there are billions of moons all over so all that is doing a bishekam to him amrte na plutam so after you do a bishekam then divya bhoga samanditam so the other version is murte na plutam shantam so hrishtam is cheerful happiness so when you do abhishekam lord shiva is contented happy and we kind of so to say in american english cool him off so that way he is not very mad at you and doesn't throw those arrows at you hit them hit you all hit us all with those arrows so he is cheerful he is happy not only he is shantam not only the abhishekam makes him there is a reason why there is these two versions because first you have to make him shantam then also you have to make him happy so which is more proactive thing so once the negativity negative thing anger is gone that is why in rudram the very first verse is namaste rudra manyave apa unode kovathu kor namaskaram i worship your anger first so that first thing you have to do with lord shiva is abhishek first thing is lord shiva is what abhishekam to keep him 
खून खुल जाए ेटेड इन मेनी उपनिषद when 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 they talk about the four different states of consciousness in the upanishads waking dreaming and sleeping jagra swapna shushupti and there is a fourth major state of consciousness called the turiya fourth major state which is different from all these so what is the fourth major state that is that one state of consciousness which is ever present in you because waking dreaming and sleeping you go through it in turn you know you you go through in cycles in turn you're awake then you go to sleep when you're asleep you're not awake and then when you're dreaming you are neither awake nor sleeping so one state switches to another so it's waking dreaming sleeping but then the fact that you're awake the fact that you're aware of all this that you're awake you're aware that you're sleeping you are aware that you're dreaming you are aware indicates there was somebody else awake all this time watching all this so when i was awake well i am awake it somebody knows that i am awake within me when i am deep sleep somebody knows i'm deep sleep why because after you wake up from your depth of the deep sleep you know that you slept well you know you slept well so if your awareness was disconnected at 10 pm when you went to bed and reconnected at 6 am when you woke up if you wake up at 6 am and not 10 am and reconnected how would you know that you slept well you wouldn't know you would not know what happened between 10 am and 6 am unless there was somebody behind all this watching oh deep sleep oh restless sleep not a good sleep or dream who is the person who is watching the dream you are seeing yourself in the dream so who is the seer so that is the fourth major state and that is the upanishads define that state as turiyam and that turiyam upanishads again define as lord shiva one of the definitions in the upanishads shivam auspices shantam the three major definitions of lord shiva shivam shantam amrtena plutam shantam like in nalagunyas shivam shant chaturtam so it is that fourth major state in you that is lord shiva state he is awake in you all the time like we said yesterday his third eye is 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 an ever seeing omniscient eye so that is the fourth major state of consciousness in you so all the science has established these three states of consciousness in in scientific parlance we can define this in scientific terminology we can define all these states of consciousness how we define it because the eeg electroencephalograph will tell you the kind of waves that's coming out of your brain it relates to what kind of consciousness you are awake alpha state alpha waves and then you are sleeping slow delta waves and you dreaming crazy kind of waves beta waves alpha waves all this so and then what about the turiya state what is the turiya state this is as far as the brain is concerned so what happens in your sleep or in the body your heart rate is low metabolism is low and then your skin resistance is very high indicating that you are very deeply relaxed what do you mean by skin resistance being high it's a little bit of physics here very simple basic physics when we when we say resistance electricity passes through moisture very easily that's why you get a shock if there is a moisture surface and there is electricity close by they tell you when you are children don't touch the switch when your hand is wet so your skin resistance sweat glands are in your skin 
If you are very relaxed, the sweat glands are not active, there is no moisture. So if I put two electrodes on two ends of your hand, like this, like this, one here, one here, and then pass a current. And when you relax, there will be a lot of resistance because there is no sweat gland activity. But if I'm anxious, if I'm tense and I'm sweating, as they say here, sweating bullets, then the current will pass more fast, the resistance is less. So when you're in deep state of meditation, they found that your skin resistance goes up by 300 kilo ohms, indicating that your body is resting. So there are parameters like your heart rate, your skin resistance, and then your, your, your breath rate. These are your body parameters that tells you you're relaxed. What about the mind? When you're relaxed, you have delta waves, sleeping. So these are all, they go together. When you're sleeping, your heart rate is low, your metabolism is low, your skin resistance is high, your brain wave is delta when you're sleeping. When you're awake, the heart rate is a little higher, your skin resistance is a little less. So all these go together. But listen to this. Listen to this. Pay attention here. When you are in the Turiya, in deep state of meditation, deep state of meditation, everything changes. What changes? Your body, the machine tells you this guy is sleeping. The machine says this guy is in a deep state of sleep because your oxygen consumption is very low, your metabolism is very low, your skin resistance is extremely high, indicating that the body is in a very deep state of rest. What about the mind? The EEG says this guy is awake. Yes. This was established in the 60s at Harvard when Maharishi Mahesh Yogi came here for the first time. So, when we say, because the mind and body are connected, and the meditation happens in the mind, when the mind relaxes, it affects the body, so body relaxes. When the body relaxes, it again affects the mind. Then the mind relaxes more and more. So in a situation like this, the body is very relaxed. That's why in a state of samadhi, there is no metabolism. There is no physiological activity there. So when there is no cellular activity, do you need oxygen? You can survive any amount of coronavirus. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> any amount of coronavirus, you can survive. But you need oxygen because lungs is what collapses, right? So <laughs> if you don't need an oxygen at all. So that's what happens. So in a state of samadhi, even a physiological activity, metabolism is zero because your mind is in samadhi, it's a state of zero entropy, as we call it, zero state of disorderliness, which is perfect state of orderliness. But the machine says the body is completely rest, no metabolic activity, no heart rate, nothing, almost like dead. But then the mind is awake. It's not coma. Because coma is the body is active, the mind is dead. <laughs> it's just the opposite. So this is what is called the Turiya. The Upanishads called it Turiya. And who is that? That is Shiva. And who is that? That is Shantam. So therefore, do Abhishekam to Lord Shiva. Just pick up even a small Shiva Linga. Vibhuti Abhishekam. Milk Abhishekam. Whatever Abhishekam. Honey, whatever you can get, grab. Water. Ganga gel is the best because that's always on his head. Ganga gel is the best. Even a few drop of Ganga gel get get from Indian grocery a small bottle, and then keep putting a few drops in your Abhishekam water. So Amurte na plutam shantam. So after he's taken his bath, he's hungry, right? <laughs> he is hungry. So divya bhoga saman vitham, fully endowed with all the divya bhogas. Yet he is daridra. <laughs> And then Dig Devata Samayuktam. All these celestial deities are surrounding him. He is surrounded by all this Dig Devata. That's why if you come to our temple for pujas, before I start Abhishekam for the Maragadeshwara Linga, you would see me doing little pujas for all these Ashtadik Bhalas. So I would say, you know, Purvadik Bhage. Airavata Vahanaya Indra Hinamaham Agnaya Dikbhage Ajavahanaya Agnaya Namaham. So why? 
बिकॉज दिव्य भोग समन्वित दिग्देवता समायुक्त Veda says that, and what Veda says should be implemented in practice. So that's why we do here all the Dig Devata pujas, and after the Dig Devata puja, we do Panchamukha puja, Samvardha Agni Tarit Pradhipta Kanaka. So all this should be done for properly for proper Abhishekam for Lord Shiva. But the thing is, you don't have to do all this if you don't know how to do this. Just take a few drops of water. Say Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Namah Shivaya, Cha Shivataraya Cha. Namah Shivaya, Cha Shivataraya Cha is at the center of the Vedas, not only the Tamil Vedas, not but even the Sanskrit Vedas. So it's at the center of the Vedas. What do you mean by center of the Vedas? If you write these mainstream Vedas, three Vedas, on a huge wall and go very far away and zoom in at the middle of these. What you have written, you would see Om Namah Shivaya. Therefore, Vedam Nangini Mai Purulavadu Nadan Namam Namat Shivaya. Matamulim Ten Tamulum Maregal Nangimanavan. So it is in the Vedas, in the Namah Shivaya represents the Vedas. So if you don't have to chant all this, if you know this, please chant. But if not, at least you should chant Om Namah Shivaya. Put a few drops of water on him. Yeah. Okay. Dig Devata Samayuktam Sura Sura Namaskritam. Sura Asura Namaskritam. Everybody worshipped him. <laughs> Asuras worshipped him. Who did not worship him? Who did not? Today was Ramanavami. Rame Ishwaram. Rame Ishwaram. If you go to Rame Ishwaram, there's not Rama's temple, it's Shiva temple. Sita worshipped him. Hanuman worshipped him. Hanuman is an aspect of Lord Shiva. That's how when you do Hanuman Chalisa, there will be three fathers mentioned. Right? Including Shiva. Kesari, Vayu, and then Shiva. Three. Because he's an aspect of Lord Shiva. Hanuman worshipped him. Sita made a shivaling him out of in the, from the sand before Hanuman could bring it because it was delayed. <laughs> Flights were cancelled. It was delayed. She made one out of sand. Who else did one out of sand? Parvati Devi in Kanchipuram. Okay? <laughs> Ekambareshwar. What a beautiful story. We read that story in our Periyapuranam uh, classes, that is in the Tamil classes. If you follow all the postings by Asha, you would see what a, that was an extremely beautiful section. What a section that was. So Shiva wanted to test her. Then she sent a flood in the river. Poor lady, she just struggled so much to build the Shivalinga and then worshipping it. Look what he does. <laughs> he sends a flood to sweep the Shivalinga away. But, but she hugged it to protect it so hard that the impressions of her breast fell on that Shivalinga and it's still that way in the Akambarishwara temple. So that's the embrace of love. That's the embrace of devotion. Tightly closed. Right? That is why Upper says, Sotrunai Vediyan Sodhi Vanavan Potrunai Tirundadi Porunda Kaidola. It's not like a touch and go touch. You have to catch hold of his feet in a tight embrace, like a custom fit. Urunda Kaidola, Katrunai Putti or Kadalil Pachinam, Natrunai Avadu Namachiva Yave. Beautiful Periyapuranam going on right now. Amazing. And the more beauty is there is to come. You know, when he revives the child from the snake bite. All this. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Lovely. Anyway, so that's what it is. So Abhishekam, Dig Devata Samayuktam. Sura Asura Namaskritam. So, Devas worshipped him. Asuras, everybody, Ravana, Vibhishana, Kumbhakarna, everybody worshipped him. Sura Asura Namaskritam. And what else he is? Nityam, Shashvatam, eternal. He is the only one that doesn't change. Like we said, the Turiya Chetana, that, that fourth state of consciousness, Lord Shiva, had never changes. That is eternal. So, 
and that is a witness. Shivam Shantam Chaturtam Anyante Saha Atma Savigneya know that to be your Atma. Atatmanagam Sivatmanagam Sri Rudra Rupam Jaya Upanishads. The same message here. Shivam Shantam Chaturtam Anyante Savigneya Saha Atma. Know him to be your Atma. So that is why, like I said, the Lagunyasam, where the Lagunyasam starts is exactly where the Namakam Rudram ends. Because Atatmanagam Sivatmanagam Sri Rudra Rupam Dhyayet. I am going to meditate upon the form of Rudra to bring about the union of my Atma and the Shivatma. And then how do we end? Come in the Rudram, how do we end it? Ayam me hasto bhagavahan ayam he bhagavattaraha. Ayam me e vishrave shajoyam shiva vismarushanaha. Yete sahasram ayam. So how do we end that? O Lord Shiva, because I touched and did Abhishekam to you, when we start Rudram, we are staying far away from him, afraid of him, scared of him. But say, worship your anger. Kovatu koru kumbudu, villu koru kumbudu, rambu koru kumbudu. You know, Kai Kumbudu, we worship your anger, we worship your bow, we worship your arrow. Very far. Duality. Veda Bhavana Sohamitkesa. Duality. And then by the time we come to the tenth Anuakam, we have pacified him with not only Abhishekam, but also with the three hundred names. Namo Hiranyabhave Namaha, Sayanhanya Namaha, Dishan Chapataye Namaha. So with those 300 names, we pacified him. He's so cool. He's not only Shantam, but he's cheerful. Now he can take a lot of liberty. So we say, throw over arrows thousands of miles away. And then you know what we say? Because I touched and did Abhishekam to you, my Lord Shiva, I am me hasto. My hands are what? Equal to yours. I am me hasto, Bhagavan. I am me Bhagavataraha. Atatmanagam, Shivatmanagam, Rudra, Rupam, Jaya. That's where we started, Lagunyasam. And that's where we end in the Rudra. What a beauty, what a way it is. Tirumalodu, Nanmoganum, Tirumalodu, Nanmoganum, Tedi, Tedana, Devane, Yenule, Tedi, Kandugundan, therefore, Talaye, Nivanangai, Upper, Talai Malay, Talai Kanindu, Talai Malay. He's a garland of skulls. What kind of skulls? All skulls of Brahma. He answers <laughs> Brahma. Talai Malay, Talai Kanindu, Talai Yale. Palinterum talai vanai talai ye ni vanangai kaigal kupitolir Chevihal ken mingolo muke ni muralai vaye valtigandai upper Kalgalal payanen. What is the use of these legs that don't go around the shivalingam? Kola kogaranam sula kalgalal payanen. Appar was a very strong person. Kalgal alpayanyan Uttar That's how he ends it. Angamala. Uttar yarularo Uttar yarularo Listen. Uttar yarularo Uyir gondu Pomboludu Uyir gondu Pombolu de Kutralet the Kutan Allah Namaku Utraya Rularo. He is your only Bandu, Marga Bandu. Marga Bandu means not a journey from Fort Lauderdale to Jacksonville. Marga is your life, Marga, the journey of your life from one incarnation to another, and that is that Marga Bandu. That's so beautiful. That is Marga Bandu. So he is the only bandhu. Uttar yarularo. We are going to poem bandhu. Kutrala turai kuptan. Allah namak uttar yarulo. Therefore, Allah ye ni vanangai. Okay. So, Nityan, he is the only Sashwatam. Nityam, Sashwatam, 
They are every mean the same thing. Nitya means forever, eternal. Doesn't go and come. All the all the all the devas who drank Amurta, they're gone. But the one who drank poison is still there. Eternal. Nitya Sashvatam. <laughs> Nitya Sashvatam. Shuddham. Like we saw that Shuddham. Shuddhas Padika Sankas. Hmm? <laughs> Dhruvam. What is Dhruva? Something that's fixed, like Dhruva star. Fixed, non moving. Aksharam. Non decay, abhyayam, unmanifest. All Upanishads. Nityan, Sashvatam, Shuddham, Dhruva, Maksharam, Abhyayam. Know that to be Lord Shiva. Shivoham. Big Devata Samayuktam, surrounded by gods in all directions. Sura Sura Namaskartam, Rama worshipped him, Ravana worshipped him. Anuman worshipped him, Lakshmana worshipped him, Sita worshipped him. That's Ravana. Aghora Tapasvi. Nityam, eternal and everlasting, Shuddham, pure as crystal, Shuddha Svadika Sankasam. Pralai Achalam Indu Gunda Davalam Gokshi Rafena Prabham Shuddham. Kalankar Rahitam, Sthanor Mukam Pashimam, absolutely blemishless, crystal clear. Dhruvam, fixed, immovable, non-decaying, aksharam, abhyayam, unmanifest. Sarvavyapinam Heshanam, Sarvavyapinam. There is not a place he is not there. He is in the divine and the demon. He is in the demonic and he is in the divinity. He is in the decoit and he is in the angel. He is in the saint, he is in the sinner. Sarvavyapina Mishan, that's Ente Rudram, that is Advaita Vedanta concept. Only difference is here it's Shivam. Shiva. Everything is Shiva. Saiva Siddhanta. So everything is Shiva. So that is Advaitam, non-dual. Sarva Vyapinam Ishanam Rudram Vai Vishwarupinam. That is his cosmic form. So, Yevam Dhyatva, meditating thus. This is how you should meditate upon Lord Shiva. First you visualize him in his palms, like this Lagunyasam describes, Shuddha Svadika Shankasam, Trinetram, Panchavaktrakam, Gangadaram, Dashabhujam, Sarvavarana Bhushitam, Neelagrivam, Sashankankam, Nagayajna Pavitinam, Vyagra Charmottari, Yanchavarenyam Avayapradam, Kamandal Vakshasutranam, Dharinam Shulapaninam, Jalantam Pingalajata, Shikamudya Tadarinam, Vrshaskanda Samarudam Mumadehardha Dharinam Murtena Plutam Shantam Devya Boga Samanvitam Digdevata Samayuktam Sura Sura Namaskritam After meditating all these forms from Saguna Brahmam Saguna Shivam you go to Nirguna Nirguna Nirakara from Saguna Sakara, you go to Nirguna Nirakara. But this is the pathway. You can't say, oh, I can jump there. No, you'll break your legs. There's a reason. No, I can't do Upasana because Vedas say that he's Saksha, formless Brahma. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> These are steps. From Saguna Sakara, you go to Nirguna Nirakara. Therefore, at last, this is mentioned. They didn't start with Nityan Sashvatam Shuddham Dhruvam Aksharam Abhyayam. They didn't. Abhyayam is the last word that is used here and manifest. First word that was used, Shuddha Spadika Shankasam, where you can visualize a crystal. Trinetra, visualize a Trinetra. So that's the journey here. Saguna Sahakara to Nirguna Nirakara. Sarva Vyapinam Ishanam Rudram Vaivishwarupinam 
Evam Jatva, meditating upon Lord Shiva like this, Vija, the twice born, whoever is, lives like the Brahmin, twice born, Vija, Samyak, Samyak means well. Evan Jatva, the Samyak, Tatoya Janam Arabe, that's how you should start your puja. Arabe means start your puja and Abhishekam how? Rudram by Vishwarupinam cosmic form. Evan Jatva, meditating him like that, like him in this form, and then thinking of him, visualizing him as the formless Evan Jatva, which is Samyak, Tatoya Janam Arabe. Start your worship. Samyak. Right? So, that's Shiva Subramanya Swami. <laughs> Disciple of Shiva Yoga Swami from Sri Lanka. Great saint. Shiva Yoga Swami is the one who said, Andachara Chara Myalam Shiva Shiva Enagatinu Legandu one day in Shiva Shiva. Yes. I didn't need a rocket Shiva Shiva, I didn't need a plank satellite Shiva Shiva to see Anda Characharam. Anda Characharam Elam Shiva Shiva, Ye Nagatinu Leg Andu Gonda in Shiva Shiva. Muru Sulal Vulam Tui Mayachi Shiva Shiva. Shiva Shiva ended at TV Nai Manu. Five thousand years ago, hundred years ago. Shiva Yoga Swami. Muru Sulal Vulam Tui Mayachi Shiva Shiva. Tandim Sume, Taim Sume, Nanim Sume, Nim Sume, Tangim Sume, Nim Sume, Nanim Sume, everything is Shiva. That's what he said. That this is a very, some of his very simple composition, beautiful. So, Sivay Subramani was his uh, disciple. And look what he did in Kauai. The biggest crystal Shiva Lingam is there in Kauai. And Shiva showed him where to find that. That's a very inter interesting anecdote about that. Om Namah Shivaya. So for now we will conclude here and then do a little bit of chanting because almost we are coming upon the time. And then next part is where we establish the deities on different parts of the body. Prajanane, Brahma, Tishtadu, Padayo, that we will see next class in detail. But right now we will just do a little bit of chanting. Om Matatmanagam Shivatmanagam Sri Rudra Rupam Dhyayet You can repeat twice. So that completes the first section of Lagunyasam. We will do the next one next week. So if any questions let me know. And then if not, we would close. Om Namah Shiva. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Om